Well, after we first brought this topic out in the open, most of the emails that we received were from people who thought that we should have included an atheist in our discussion. So now we're going to turn to one of the world's most prominent atheists. Richard Dawkins is an Oxford University professor whose bestseller sparked worldwide controversy. The God Delusion argues that belief in God is not only irrational, but it can be deadly. Paula spoke with him just a couple of days ago. Why are you an atheist? Why don't you believe in Thor? Why don't you believe in Zeus? Nobody believes in most of the things that you could believe in. You're an atheist with respect to the flying spaghetti monster. I'm an atheist with respect to the Judeo-Christian God because there is not a shred of evidence in favor of the Judeo-Christian God or indeed any other God. It strikes me that the atheist message is particularly threatening to some Christians because they believe in some way you're trying to compromise their ability to have this stuff out there on the public stage. Is there any public role as far as you're concerned for religion? I think people should be free to believe whatever they like, to write whatever they like, to say whatever they like within within reason. But the problem is that religious people, I think especially in America and also in the Islamic world, are in the habit of getting it all their own way and are remarkably intolerant of atheists. But why do you think they're so remarkably intolerant of atheists? Well, I think there's a sort of historic misunderstanding of what atheism is. For some reason, people have been brought up to believe that atheists have two horns and a tail. I mean, there are figures that show that atheists are the most mistrusted group in America, which is pretty astonishing considering, as I say, the innocuousness of what they actually are. They're just people who hold a different belief system. Certainly you have encountered people, though, who are intimidated by your message and that in some way it puts perhaps their own faith in doubt? Well. Why would anybody be intimidated by mere words? I mean, neither I nor any other atheist that I know ever threatens violence. We never threaten to fly planes into skyscrapers. We never threaten suicide bombs. We're very gentle people. All we do is use words to talk about things like the cosmos, the origin of the universe, evolution, the origin of life. What's there to be frightened of in just an opinion? Final question, how would you characterize the overarching public reaction to atheism. Misunderstanding and really missing an awful lot of what's valuable because if you're an atheist you know, you believe, this is the only life you're going to get. It's a precious life, it's a beautiful life, it's something that we should live to the full, to the end of our days, whereas if you're religious and you believe that there's another life somehow, that means you don't live this life to the full because you think you're going to get another one. That's an awfully negative way to live a life. Being an atheist frees you up to live this life properly, happily and fully. Richard Dawkins, we really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Welcome back. We're talking about discrimination against atheists and how the fear of becoming outcasts keeps many atheists underground. Let's turn to our Out in the Open panel again. Atheist Ellen Johnson is here with us, the Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, and radio talk show host Rachel Maddow. So let me turn to you first of all, Ellen. Do atheists bring this on themselves by going to the Supreme Court with campaigns like trying to take the words under God out of the pledge, trying to take the words in God we trust off of the currency? You're, you're one to three percent of the population. Why are you by, so noisy? By trying to uphold the Constitution of the United States, I think that's being a good citizen. I think that we should be applauded for it. However, most atheists are in the closet, unfortunately. We haven't seen that this is just the tip of the iceberg. And when atheists start coming out more and more, then we'll see more problems. But what the problem really is and what it stems from is that religion is losing out in America and the religious know it. There's empty pew syndrome. There's um, a lot of competition among religions. And there's just a modern life. People are not going to church like they should. So the church just have to go to where the people are. They're going, the military is under siege, the prisons are under siege, the workplaces are under siege, and the public schools are under siege. And the religious are getting very angry and they're fighting back. And when they see an atheist who tries to uphold the Constitution and challenge them when they break the law, then there are all kinds of problems. And mind you, they also go after religious people. Mm -hmm. In Pontotoc, Mississippi, when a Christian woman said, 
that organized prayers in that school, the public school systems there were wrong and she challenged it. They went after her with a vengeance. Right. Bishop John Shelby Spong received 15 death threats because well, well, of his liberal well, let me, views. Let me, let me so it's not Reverend, just atheists. Reverend Pearson, you're losing out? Is that, is that no, why you're no, discriminating atheists, against these people? Atheists are hypocrites. What they're trying to do too is impose their godless lifestyle upon Americans and especially upon Christians. This great country was built on the idea of God, family, and constitution, and they want to change that. Now, if they want to be an atheist, it's okay to do that, but just go and do it and don't try to change America. Remove God out of the lives of everybody. Well, and well, Christians are just fighting back and real fast. We saw the same thing with the radical homosexual movement. They decided to come out in the closet, and what they did it was they imposed their lifestyle upon Americans. Now they have redefined she the family. She was with you for a second, that. and now, you, yeah. now you've no, lost. Let me just read an, e let, me, let me read an email that we got here. This is obviously from an atheist who talks about this idea of, of who has rights to do what. He's, he writes, "Quote: You ask atheists not to impose on your rights to have prayer in school and to have God in the Pledge of Allegiance. Atheists ask you not to impose on their rights to have prayer taken out of school and to have God taken out of the Pledge of Allegiance. On what basis do you assume that you're?" rights should be taken as precedence over an atheist. Well, obviously, Christians are in the overwhelming majority when sure. it comes to Christians versus atheists, but does the Constitution, Rachel, not only give you freedom of religion, but freedom from religion? It, the Constitution gives you freedom from religion. It creates a government that is explicitly non-religious. So, so it should be equal rights, yes? you, yeah, No, well, you, I mean, you can say that America is a Christian nation in the sense that America is yes. a Christian majority nation. You're right, but we have a secular government. And the way we protect religion in this country and the way we have become such a religious country is by protecting religion, by keeping it utterly separate from the public mm -hmm. sphere and from government. And so there's... Well, there's that's it's, not, wait, that's not the American it's not, way, though. Yes, it is. It's no, not, okay, have, let me just finish my thought, Reverend. I'll give, wait, 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 the public oh, school please, first. We're running out of time, so please. make it quick. There is not equality among religions under the American government. There well, is freedom from religion. Freedom from religion okay, is let, what let, we let, have. Me, let me ask this question. There is a common perception among Christians, or at least a common case that Christians sometimes make, that atheists, because they do not believe in God, are morally compromised. Do you morally compromise? Uh, no, uh, that's just bigotry. They know who atheists are. I, I have to dis respectfully disagree with uh, Mr. Dawkins, Professor Dawkins. The theists know very well who, who, what, who we are, and they're not misinterpreting us mm -hmm. or misunderstanding us. Uh, you know that's just bigotry, and in order to make religious fe religious people feel better, they have then to where say do you lies. Where get your morals from? Christians get their morals from God, from the from the Bible, from God. Where do you get yours from? It's not about where we get our ethics from. Where do you get them that's from? That's a question. Right? No. That is a question. It's uh, but it's, where it's do you get the them idea from? that we don't have ethics is not borne out. No one sees that we're not the ones that are you know abusing children. Professionally religious you, people. Are you okay. Christians are abusing ethics, children? I've got to call a time out here, folks. An Oklahoma state legislator is coming under criticism for a speech in which she says homosexuals are destroying the United States and are more dangerous than terrorists. Republican State Representative Sally Kern was addressing a small audience when she was secretly recorded. Studies show that no society that has totally embraced homosexuality has lasted more than you know, a few decades. So it's the death knell of this country. I honestly think it's the biggest threat, even that our nation has, even more so than terrorism or Islam, which I think is a big threat. If you've got cancer or something in your little toe, do you say, well, you know, I'm just going to forget about it because the rest of you's fine? It spreads. Okay, and this stuff is it's deadly and it's spreading and it will destroy uh, our young people, it will destroy this nation. The Oklahoma Republican State Representative Sally Kern has confirmed she made the comments and has refused to apologize.